What you are looking at here is my Star Trek door prototype. Uh, at the heart of it is this is a 18 inch long air cylinder. The idea is uh, that there'll be two of those and that it'll open the door kind of like an elevator door. Um, two cylinders, one for each half of a pocket door. Down here is a valve that's controlled remotely by 12 volts. It has the air in and then depending on if the switch is open or closed, it can push air to move this rod either direction and that's just hooked up to an air compressor running at a little under 20 PSI. Now over here, I've got a pair of 12 volt relays and the first one over here, uh, the white wire coming off of it, this is a light sensor activated relay and the sensor is just a little small thing. I stuck it inside of a tube to make it dark in there and then I have a laser pointer. I put a rubber band around the on button to make it on so the laser light shines into here onto uh, that sensor. And then the output of that sense of the, the light sensor relay goes to a timer relay. So the timer relay kicks on when it gets the signal from the first relay, but then it has a countdown. So it will um, activate the, the switch over here and then it will count down. And right now I've got it set to about three seconds. Uh, and then uh, this is 12 volts. I'm powering it off of a 12 volt cordless tool battery and I've just got that running to a breadboard just to make the connections easy, give me a couple of extra outputs because I thought, for example, instead of just opening up this valve, pushing that air cylinder out to open a door, why not also have some lights in the door frame? So this is LED uh, tape. You, you just stick it onto the door frame. That was like five bucks on Amazon. Uh, about 15 feet of it. So this is set up. So if that red laser stops shining in there, it'll turn on the one relay, which turns on the other, which will open that valve and turn on that light. So uh, for example, imagine if the laser pointer and the sensor are mounted on opposite sides of a doorway. And we uh, take a look here and I just break that beam. Door opens. Those lights turns on, waits about three seconds, and then closes and turns the light off. Let's try that again. And now let's say I'm just standing in the door. You'll notice it doesn't close. It doesn't close. I can stand in the door as long as I want, as long as that beam is broken. So right there, there's the uh, red, uh, it's just a laser pointer. You can hear that click, and in three seconds, the lights will turn off and the door will close. So that's the idea. That's kind of the, the mock-up, the prototype. Of course, it needs a second air cylinder and actually being attached to the two halves of the pocket door and then just uh, mount all the stuff together into a, an electronics enclosure. Maybe give this a black tube, make it look nice. Maybe get laser diodes instead of just using a laser pointer I already have. But that's it. That's my Star Trek door working prototype mock-up.